Lilium Aviation. Potential lifeline? Lilium Aviation, a German manufacturer of air taxis, or EVTOLs as we like to call them, is currently navigating financial troubles and facing insolvency. However, there's still hope for the company's future if it can secure a new investor or buyer by year end. This is going to take a little bit of explaining, so please bear with me and hit that subscribe. Despite stringent cost cutting measures, including shutting down of their cafeteria, the development and assembly of their innovative electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft continue near Munich. The company is operating under a self administered insolvency, a sign that those involved believe there's still potential for restructuring and recovery. Insiders report significant interest from various parties, including both current investors and new stakeholders from different nations. This indicates a robust prospect of rescuing the company. Discussions about different future scenarios are ongoing and ranging from continuing operations to liquidating assets. Even previously stalled negotiations with the Free State of Bavaria are back on the table, suggesting potential government support. KPMG have been appointed to help find a variable rescue plan for Lilium, and the outcome will ultimately depend on the creditors committee approval of the proposed investments and restructuring of these strategies. The situation is complex, involving the interest of shareholders, suppliers, creditors, customers and employees. Despite this, the workforce and suppliers remain committed, driving forward the specific developments for the aircraft and maintaining operational and development momentum. So in reality, Lilium's current predicament is marked by the continued payment of insolvency wages by the Federal Employment Agency which highlights a paradox where direct state aid was denied yet indirect support through employment benefit continues. This has allowed the company to reduce operational costs significantly while also maintaining the staff's involvement and developmental activities. The commitment workforce is keen to achieve the first manned flight of the Lillian model and it's now rescheduled for early 2025 despite potential delays due to cautious suppliers. This situation underscores the community's support for Lilium, with many stakeholders eager to see the company succeed and take its innovative aircraft to the skies. The path forward for Lilium hinges on finding a sustainable business plan that convinces creditors to attract the necessary investment to keep the company operating at its Munich base, or consider other proposals that may emerge. Donald Trump has also highlighted why America is to lead the industry. So if you haven't seen it, click here. Are racing to develop vertical takeoff and landing vehicles for families and individuals. Just as the United States led the automotive revolution in the last century, I want to ensure that America... This is not a drill. Donald Trump has spoke about electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles and the US leading the frontier.